Hi everybody, I'm Mick Mac and today I'm going to tell you more about the next Cookie Run update. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss any future Cookie Run videos. Ok now, do you remember Purple Yam and Milk Cookie? Like they went on an adventure to find Dark Choco Cookie and ended up in the Dragon's Valley? Well, in the next update you'll finally learn what happened next. Now, I won't spoil it for you right now as it's just more fun to discover it into the game, right? Uh, but something I can tell you is that a new feature is coming as well. Guild Runs. Uh, by the way, that name is not final yet, but we kind of like it, so we might just go with that. In a guild run, you and your guildmates will face three guilds in new arenas. The maps you run in are decided randomly, and each one will have a unique set of rules. Now, every day, your guild leader can start a guild run, and each guild member can participate and set an ice score to help the guild. But be careful though, you'll only have 5 attempts in total, so you gotta make each run count. So get ready to run with your guildmates for the honor of your guild. Now, there's much more to say about this new feature, and you'll find out all the details when the update goes live. But there's more coming with the next update, and I'd like to take some time to tell you about some other changes. With the next update, we are adding Ginger Brave and Hero Cookies Trial to be part of the tutorial. We think these two trials will make a great introduction into the game for new players. Of course, you will still have the opportunity to play these two trials, even if you're already at a high level. So no worries. As announced previously, we are going to change some treasure effects that led to an intuitive gameplay. You might have seen some cookie run play videos out there where like it's sometimes better to hit obstacles or to fall into holes at specific places just to reach a higher score. And well, while we believe it's good to have a certain strategic aspect in Cookie Run, well, some treasures just push that aspect too far, and we felt that they made the gameplay quite stressful and even sometimes burdensome, and that's why three treasures will be slightly modified. First, the engine. Now, from this update, the speed bonus will now remain even after hitting an obstacle. Only the shield effect will reset. Second, the bubblegum jumpers. Now, you probably know that by jumping several times just before a cookie ran out of energy, it was sometimes possible to activate one last cookie skill. Now, after the update, when the cookie runs out of energy, you won't be able to jump anymore. Now, to compensate, there will be more bonus points per jump. And finally, the trampoline. Now, this treasure will still save you from holes, but it will no longer give you a speed boost when rescuing. Instead, you'll be able to save up rescues to use them whenever you need, and you'll get much more bonus points when using them. Now, of course, we'll be looking for your feedback regarding these changes. After the update, please give them a try and let us know what you think on the forum. And one last thing I'd like to mention is that with this update, we are planning to release one new legendary magic candy. Can you guess which one it will be? This new magic candy won't be released directly with the update, but a bit later in June. So you can look forward to it. Alright, that's about it. Thanks for watching and well, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. What? Oh, I, I almost forgot. Dinos! With your guildmates for the... Ah. <laughs> okay. They made the gameplay quite stressful and even sometimes burdensome.
burden time. It's burden time. <laughs> <laughs>